that one. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come on. Good boy. What a good dog. Is it snowy out there? You want me to throw that big piece of horse poop? <laughs> I thought I told you not to eat horse poop. ever said the words snowmobiling is easy has obviously never had to do things like this where you have to take a 450 to 500 pound machine and wrestle it around in deep snow dig things out and roll them this is obviously no easy task let alone when you're at about 10,000 feet which is pretty close to what this is at. Um, my poor cousin here is definitely feeling the effects of the altitude. He has um, just got over here from about 1,400 feet. Moving up into this elevation is brutal. Really?
that snow out what? Is that snow on heavy? That's a good sign. Holy cow.
you, bud. Holy cow. Peacock, are you stuck underneath your sled? I'm not doing okay. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> what the? Uh... That was an interesting route you choose there. Yeah. <laughs> why, why did you go right? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Uh, this looks like one of them better break out a better break out a beer right now kind of a thing. Can you think about it for a little bit? Maybe just a ski bungee and a couple ski poles, and we're good to go. We got really lucky here. There were some people that were passing by on the trail that saw that we were in a bit of trouble. And they were kind enough to take an hour out of their own day to come and help us out. I can't extend my sincerest gratitude to these folks from Utah that were kind enough to come and help us lug this thing out of the uh, the creek and the unusual situation that we found ourselves in. <laughs> so, cheers to you guys. I highly doubt you'll ever see this video. But if you do, we all owe you guys big time. and can't thank you enough for doing what you did. All in the left side too. So what we ended up doing there was we took the water out of the engine by pulling the spark plugs and pulling it several times and then cleaning out the rest of the water by taking one spark plug and putting it in the engine and then firing the engine up and then doing the same to the other side and managed to get the thing started, get it out of this creek hole and get our soaked butts back to camp.